A lot of people think that Steve is real. I think that Steve is real. How about that? Winter Mint. The stories in my stand-up act that always got the biggest reaction were the ones where Steve had run-ins with the law. Uh, I would get pulled over as Mark and Steve was in the back seat. Uh, what do you say if he has taquitos? Ask the cop if he knows where the Taco Bell is. One day, when my brother-in-law, who's a real sheriff, he gets home from work, I decided to ask him, hey, can we shoot a fake arrest video? And he says. Here. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Shit. I feel like there's a lot of people that have known all along that my name is Mark, Mark Ryan. I'm a stand-up comic. This is a character. Uh, but there was a lot of, there have been, still will be. You know, not everybody's going to watch this. Uh, a lot of people that think that Steve is real. I think that Steve is real. How about that? But after 10 years, I, I, I do want people to know. I, I feel like sh everybody should be on the same page. That, uh, you know, Steve is a character. Um, I'm a stand-up comic. Everybody drinks in Louisiana. That's the thing. You don't know what's going to happen if you get pulled over. Hey, you been drinking? Yeah. Me too! Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I didn't know if I was chasing you or you were chasing me. I first brought Steve to life on stage in my stand-up act. I would call it I found Steve, you know, because it just starts off as a voice and you do it here and there and you start realizing, man, there's something about this that's really special. And then I started stringing the stories together more and, and then I turned it into my best friend Steve and I had a... In, massive chunk of my act that was devoted to this character, Steve. 2005 YouTube comes along and it's this brand new website and I immediately saw it as an amazing platform to reach a much bigger audience than I ever had and I was struggling to what, what do I do with this as a comic? Do I just put my stand up up here? No one was doing that. And then I thought of Steve. I remember thinking, if I can take one of these Steve stories where he has a run-in with the law and bring it to life so effectively that CNN or Fox plays it as a real story, that would be something. And that is exactly what happened. Did you see this? One of the most famous drunken driving lawnmower arrests wasn't even real. So you turn it off? Everyone thought it was when it was first posted online a couple of years back. This video has been seen by millions of people on the net. I'm not doing anything wrong. I know my rights. No, I'm not going to jail today. I'm not down. Right, put, I'm man, not... put your hand behind your back. Um, what exactly is this, Amanda? This is a spoof made by comedian Mark Ryan. He's uh, put it up on his website. It's gotten millions and millions of views just on YouTube, which is one of the places where it's posted. You want a new definition of the term drunk driving? <laughs> Julie has it all. Okay, so here's a cop car. He's approaching on a suspicious vehicle. It's a man on a lawnmower. <laughs> he comes upon him. Here's a cop car gunning up to him. Yeah, people like to ask me if it was based on any specific person, and the answer is really it's a bunch of people in my life that I grew up with, you know, uh, cousins that I was around, uncles, friends, people that work with my family. Uh, and you just take a little piece here, a little piece there. And the one common thread uh, through all of these influences in my life is they were people who were free. They didn't worry about, you know, fuck the bills. Uh, you know, fuck responsibility. Forget what I gotta do tomorrow because I'm drinking tonight. 
uh, just people that were free from concern. And so I wanted to make certain that Steve embodied that feeling of somebody who was truly free. The first video I decided to shoot was Steve getting arrested on his lawnmower because it's just so ridiculous. One day when my brother-in-law, who's a real sheriff, he gets home from work, I decided to ask him, hey, could we shoot a fake arrest video? And he says, yes. <laughs> So with no video cameras or mics, we just used the dash cam that was in his car and the, the, you know, they wear mics. So we just used his stuff. One of the giveaways I always thought was like, my brother-in-law starts to laugh. How long you been riding the lawnmower? About two weeks. My truck broke. Two weeks. Yeah. Because we shot this in my brother-in-law's real patrol car, he had to go to his boss and ask for the key to unlock the hard drive. In a patrol car, the hard drives are kept under lock and key to keep everybody honest and to keep stories legit and straight. So he goes to get the key, they take it out, he watches the video, the main sheriff watches the video and has a huge reaction, laughing, saying, when did you arrest this guy? And when my brother-in-law told me that, I knew we had it, because if the main sheriff thought it was real, well, certainly everybody else would too. And it worked. It really worked. Millions of views. Uh, and then I make a second video and a third video. Now we're using real cameras, real mics. I end up making nine arrest videos all together. And the most popular to this day remains the scissor lift. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll come down. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll come Maybe I won't. Steve? After all those arrest videos, I knew I could do more with Steve. And that's when I created Whiskey Weed Women on this tiny little set you see behind me in my garage in Los Angeles. This same set has now moved four times and is here with me in Tennessee. And now what is legitimately a massive garage, but at the time it was just a two car garage in a town home. On one of the early shows, Show 21, I did whiskey wipers where I installed whiskey into the windshield wiper tank and rerouted it and millions and millions of views. And the Facebook went nuts. The Facebook subscribers was doing a hundred thousand new subs a week for about six weeks seven weeks whatever and went from like 30,000 subscribers to half a million 600 700,000 in a matter of weeks I've had so many opportunities being Steve one of my most proudest is being a animated character in the video game for the trailer park boys what a weird thing to think i'm in a video game touring nationally as steve to much bigger audiences than i did in my stand-up career and in 2017 one of the most exciting things that i'd been wanting to do my entire career as a stand-up comic was make a television pilot now that little run-in with the law you had this afternoon now i can make that go away not a thing less. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Piss yourself a little bit. Five grand. Maybe we knock it down a little bit. She's got bite marks on her. I learned a lot of hard lessons making that pilot. There was a producer on this show that told me if I played Steve as outrageous as I always had, it would make it really hard to sell the show. And I'll put that pilot up on the channel, and you can judge for yourself the watered down version of Steve. I will continue to put up brand new Steve Jessup builds, videos on social media. That's not gonna stop. So going forward now, you're in on the world of Steve. Not everybody's gonna watch this Being Steve series. So if you're a hardcore fan and you're watching now, now you're in. So I'm gonna put my stand-up special on this channel as well. It's a one hour special, I'm very proud of it. 
I encourage you to check it out. Well, I would love for you to come see me live when I'm in your town next. I, I really think that was the whole beginning of the arrest videos as I was like, they let me put my name, markryan.com, across the top of these videos and people will look and say, oh, he's a comedian. Let's go see him when he comes to our town. And uh, nobody looked at that. Nobody looked to see if I was a... They just were like, look at this idiot uh, getting arrested on the lawnmower and his scissor lift. Uh, so yeah, I would like you guys to know I'm a comic. Come see me live in person.